I have been wanting to build something really badly and I've also been wanting a workbench so I can start creating more intricate projects. So, believe it or not, I did just that. There we go, there we have it. And I'm gonna show you my process in which it took to do so. I've already cut off my first leg. I'm gonna mark it so that I know that it's the model that I need to use for the other sizes of the other legs. So whenever you're actually sawing through your uh, four by six, because it doesn't go all the way through, or anything you're sawing for that matter, don't stop in the middle of it like I did because then you mess it up and you go back through again and you have about an eighth inch mess up. So I gotta fix that now. You know, I wanna make a workbench and in my mind, it seems like it's gonna be really quick and easy. Then you start doing it, it's a project. He's the guy holding the stuff for me. So if you can see right here, it's not quite flush on this, this upper part, but it is in the bottom because it was sort of warped. So the trick I'm gonna use is you take these three different boards, the same width with the one in the middle, put them together, stick it in here like this, and then you just bend it out so you can screw it in. After clamping it down for stability, now I can go ahead and screw in the legs. Sucks it right in. So now I'm going to work on the bottom shelf, which is going to help with the stability of the full workbench. Also, I'm going to have a place to be able to store all my tools. This is a pretty big space right here. So what we're gonna do, so it has a lot more stability, is we're gonna add in a couple braces. Whenever I don't have somebody that's here with me, obviously I do, what you can do is you can just screw a screw at the top up here like this, and you can just lean it on the edge on the other side so it's not falling down on you. One second for this plane. I'm at a flight path. Just like this, we line it up over here, and all I'm gonna do now is just line this side up, and then screw her in. So now that we have the one screw on this side over here, this one that we use to hold up, we're gonna take out. And I'm gonna use this right angle on the side to make sure I'm at a 90 degree angle. And I'm gonna hold it up, try to get it centered off. It's got this gnat in my face, it's really annoying. We are at a right angle, so we're gonna screw the second one in. And then just like that, we come over here, and we do the bottom part. He's not a good cameraman, he sucks. I was looking at the work, not you. The work's prettier than you are. It's probably very true. Okay. So I'm putting these wheels on every single leg that are lockable, like this, and also you unlock them and then they're rotatable. We have another plane passing by right now. One second. These wheels are rated for 300 pounds, so with all four of them, that makes 1,200 pound rating. The bench can be moved around simply on 1,200 pounds. I'm sure it can put up to 15 or 1,600 pounds. I don't know why I ever really would, but it would just struggle a little bit more is all that that means. These screws do not stop here. So I have washers that way that I can actually screw them to the posts. Four by eight foot is foot of sheet of 
<laughs> this is a four by eight foot sheet of plywood, which means it's 96 by 48 inches. I'm gonna take off eight inches from the 48 so that it's only 40 inches. It just makes it way easier to reach all the way across the workbench at 40 inches than 48 inches. I am not a behemoth of a person. I'm only 5'10". We left about a half inch lip all the way around just for a comfort thing. If you're kind of up against all of your siding, it can be kind of annoying when you're trying to work with different tools and things. So we left a half inch. So now that all four corners are cut, we're just going to go ahead and put it in. I'm trying to beat the rain. Real snug like. It done fit. I've got a table. It's very sturdy. It moves whenever I want it to. It locks whenever I want it to. And uh, it does the job. It looks good. Ugh. What is this one gnat? Don't, don't worry about the mat. 